All right, let's move on to the muscular word root. So the muscular system, muscles, essentially, you know, maybe some attachments with bones, but essentially we're, we're just looking at muscles, right? Uh, and, and word roots regarding muscles. Okay, so let's start with adhesive, like an adhesion. So if something, if we, if we have an adhesion between muscle, here, here's a muscle fiber, here's a muscle fiber, and there's an adhesion between them, that's the process of sticking them together, right? So adhesive means stick to. Yeah, it means they're stuck together. They they can't move. There's something sticking them together. Kind of like tape. Tape is an adhesive. Glue is an adhesive. It sticks things together, right? Same thing. Scar tissue is some is a form of an adhesion that holds things together. Right? Sometimes good to have an adhesion. Sometimes not so good. You want your you don't want adhesions between your muscles in your skin where you've suffered trauma. Sure, adhesions are a good thing, um, but in the muscles, not so much. Break up those adhesions whenever you can. Okay, moving on. Ducto, like ductopenia. Now, ducto. Let's see. Ductopenia. So. We have we have structures in the body that do it that that have a specific function, right? Um, like lymphatic ducts, the, the thoracic duct has one job in the lymphatic system, and that's to carry lymph from one place to another. Okay, so ducto means carry. Okay, um, and that's that's essentially it. So a a duct of some sort will carry something inside of it from one place to another okay moving on ergo like ergonomic what does ergo ergo mean ergonomic ergonomics re specifically refer to how somebody works right and and things that go into their work uh, things that can assist a person to work better with their body stuff like body positioning and and oof, making sure that your back is straight uh, proper body mechanics of course in the course of your works deals with ergonomics so ergonomic is how somebody works the definition is work okay what about fascio and just kind of one of those you, you look at and you immediately know tensor fascia lata or fascia latte plural of course this means fascia um so tensor fascia latte um tensor it, it's it's tense right on one side it's it fasc has fascia um on it on on the side lot lots of lateral you get it. Um, so fascia, the plantar fasciitis is another example uh, where you have the fascia on the plantar surface of the foot. Okay, so fascia. Fibro. What does fibro? Fibromyalgia. Fibrosis. What is a fibrosis? Fibrosis is a condition where you are developing fibers in a certain part of the body. Um, and these fibers are typically not supposed to be there. Okay, so fibro means fiber. Okay. Uh, fibroso, again, fiber, um, kind of kind of the same thing. A uh, little repetitive there. Maybe I should maybe I should change that at some point. We'll see. Flexo. And we talk about a specific kind of kind of movement here. So flexo, like flexion, right? Flexion is our is, is our example. So we'll use we'll use my elbow as an example. So if I were to flex my elbow, what am I doing to the elbow to flex it? And I, I know I get I get scientific with the definition of flexion, uh, but in general, the term flexo means bend. So if I'm flexing something, if I'm flexing a joint, I am bending the joint in some way, right? So flexing 
the elbow will bend the elbow as, as opposed to extending the elbow, which straightens the elbow, right? Flexo, bend, flex, flex the digits. I'm, I'm bending those joints, okay? Uh, moving on, iso. Now, this term is really important when we talk about our muscle contractions, like isometric and isotonic contractions. So you can, again, you've got to know your medical terminology because if you know your medical terms, you can break down those names into terms that are easily easy to understand okay so iso means same okay so in an isometric contraction something stays the same and something changes metric means length so an isometric contraction the length stays the same but tension in the muscle changes okay so it's like I'm, I'm trying to lift something that's too heavy. I've got, I've got tension in my muscles, right? But the length of the muscle is staying the same because what I'm trying to lift is too heavy. I, I don't have enough force to produce that action. Okay, so that's an, iso, an example of an isometric contraction. And an, an isotonic contraction, the tension in the muscle stays the same, but the length is changing. Okay, so if I were to, if I'm, if I'm lifting weights, let's, and my skull is a, is a weight, right? I'm, I'm lifting weights. So I the tension in my biceps remains constant, but the length decreases. That's a concentric contraction, okay? So, and, and when the tension remains constant and the muscle length increases, I'm going the opposite way, that's an eccentric contraction. Both of those are isotonic contractions where the tension remains constant, but the length is changing in some way, okay? So ISO means same. So if you know that, you can figure out what's going on with these contractions just by looking at the other terms involved, okay? And moving on, kinesio, like kinesiology or kinesthetics. So when we study kinesiology, what are we studying? I know we're studying muscles and origins and insertions and, and actions, innervations, all that stuff, synergists, antagonists, all kinds of stuff that we study in kinesiology. But kinesio itself means movement. So kinesiology is the study of movement and, and how, it, how the body moves. You know, we, we study origins and insertions and things like that because we need to know where they attach and where they attach determines how these muscles, when they contract, actually move the body. Like when biceps brachii crosses the elbow and pulls on the radial tuberosity, it's going to perform this movement, elbow flexion, right? Also performs supination and it crosses the shoulder too. So it performs shoulder flexion, right? So kinesiology, the study of movement. Um, okay, moving on. Leo. Like leomyoma. What do you think? Leomyoma. Alma tumor. Myo. Muscle. We're going to get to that at some point. Myo. Muscle. What do you think? Leo. What type of muscle could we be talking about? Remember, we have three types of muscle. Uh, we have skeletal muscle. We have cardiac muscle. And then we have this kind of muscle. Leo means smooth. Okay, so smooth muscle tumor leomyoma. Okay, so you see leo, you know it specifically refers to smooth muscle in some way. Okay, what about levo? Like levator scapulae. What about levitation? That's a, that's a good example, everyday example. What about elevator? Levator, elevator. What do elevators do with people? What do they do? Start on the ground floor, you get in an elevator and it lifts you up to another floor, right? Levo means lift, think levitation, you know, lift it off the ground, right? Levator, scapulae, lifts the scapula up, elevates the scapula. So levo, lift. Okay. Metro, we just talked about metro with isometric contractions, right? 
ISO means same, metro means length. Okay, so isometric contraction, again, the length of the muscle stays the same, but the tension in the muscle changes. Okay, so metro length. Recto, like rectus abdominis, uh, rectus femoris. These muscles allow us to, to do what? Not just move. I mean, obviously the muscles are going to help us move, but these muscles specifically help us to stand straight. Okay, so recto means straight. So rectus abdominis helps to hold the trunk straight up in some way. It fights the back muscles, which are trying to extend the back, and it flexes the trunk um, to keep us in, you know, relatively upright position. Okay, and uh, rectus femoris helps to keep us upright as well, kind of fights against the hamstrings to do that, but um, essentially, it. okay. So recto means straight. Uh, teno, like tenoperiosteal, uh, the tenoperiosteal junction is where the periosteum of a bone meets with, now think about what, what connects muscles to bones. What connects muscles to bones? Tendons, right? So teno means tendon. Um, so the tenoperiosteal junction is where a tendon meets the periosteum of a bone. And that's where the, the muscle will pull on a tendon. The tendon in turn pulls on the bone and that's what produces movement, right? So teno, tendon. Uh, tendino, also tendon. Uh, tendonitis is an example of tendino. Um, musculotendinous junction, where the muscle actually meets the tendon, um, is another example of tendino. Okay, so tendino and teno both mean tendon. Okay, tenso, like tensor fashion latte. Hmm. What does tenso mean? Tenso, kind of like tension, means strain. So there's a, so there's a lot of strain being put on tensor fascia lata um, to kind of keep it in that position. And, and it's the, the fascia kind of pulling down on that muscle that causes it to become a little strained, right? Really stretched out quite a bit. Um, so tenso means strain. Okay. What about tono? Tono. Like isotonic. T-O-N. Um, no. Just think think back to our previous discussion. Isometric and isotonic. So isometric. Iso means same. Metric means length. Right? So the length of the muscle stays the same. The tension changes. Isotonic contractions, tension remains the same, and the length of the muscle changes. So tono, like isotonic, means tension. So again, isotonic contractions, tension is changing, but the or, uh, or tension is staying the same, but the length of the muscle is changing. Okay, so isotonic tension remains the same. Okay, then we have torti. T O R T I, torti, uh, like torticollis. And that's pretty much one of the only conditions you might see this in. Uh, there's, there's another one. Oof. It kind of makes me writhe in pain just thinking about it. Um, testicular torsion is, is another example where you could see this term. Um, it means twisted. Uh, so torticollis. The, the sternocleidomastoid can cause the neck to kind of look like this, the neck and the head to kind of look like this. It becomes really tight right here and causes the neck to kind of twist, head and the neck to twist on one side. Uh, torticollis. And then testicular torsion. I'm not going to talk about that. Oof, what a nightmare that would be. Anyway, anyway so that's our uh, muscular word roots.